Hi, in this session, we are going to talk about how to reverse a doubly linked list. We have already seen in one of the videos that how do we reverse a singly linked list. In this video, we'll talk about doubly linked list. So frankly, you know, reversing a doubly linked list is pretty much easier than reversing a singly linked list because in case of doubly, we have access both to the previous pointer and the next pointer. Okay. So when I talk about reversing a list, reversing this doubly linked list, what we want is that if my initial list looks something like this, after the reversal, it should look something like this. This points to null and this points to null. So one thing we understand pretty much is that if we just reverse the positions, which means that if we make the prev of 4, the next of 4. So basically now prevs should start acting as next and the next of a node should start acting, acting as prep. Okay, so this is the only thing that we have to do. So let's say right now I have to just reverse 4 and 7 or let's say I have to just reverse the links of 4. Basically, I want that prep of 4 should act as next and next of 4 should act as prep. So what we can do is let's say I call 4 as current. So let's say I have a current node, which is 4. For that, what we'll do is we'll simply do current prep is equal to current next okay so what we're doing is we are simply making the prep of current as uh, the next of current okay now what we have to do is we have to do current next is equal to previous of current but as you can see that I have already changed current prep so right now how my list looks like let's say if this is 4 the prep already points to 7 and the next already points to 7 and the 7 prep we haven't touched that and rest of the list looks similar. So right now as you can see that the prep of 4 is also pointing to 7. It's not pointing to the original prep. So we have to make sure that before we do this we have to store the prep somewhere. So let's say I have another variable prep in which I'll just store the current prep, original prep of current okay before I do things. So now this is going to be my prep. Now I can simply do the current next is equal to prep. So this changes this particular link. Okay, now this particular link starts pointing to null. Okay, so this is how it's going to be. Now I have done this for 4. I have changed the links of 4. I have to do the same thing for 7. So what I can do is I can, I have to update my current now. So whosoever link we are changing will keep that as current. So for that, what we need to do is we need to do current is equal to. So let's see which of the link is actually pointing to current. So as you can see that the prev of 4 is actually pointing to 7 right now because the next we have changed. I want you to understand this pretty well. I'll just make the link again. So now this is how it is. So I've just drawn the link. So this is their next of 4 this is prev of 4 so the next is pointing to null and the prev is pointing to 7 so what I'll do is I'll update my current to point to prev of current so current right now is 4 so this is how things are going to be and this is the same thing that we can do for all the nodes so what we are going to do is we are going to run this until we get our current as null so we will have a loop so let's just write down this complete code once again and just let's just dry run to see that whatever we have assumed is working fine or not okay so we have written the code let's just run this code to see what happens okay let's just dry run it and this will also make your understanding of links changing very much better so make sure you do this okay so initially our prev is null our current is 4 this is our current okay and we do current prev equal to current next. So the prev of 4 starts pointing to 7. So let's say this is 7. As you can see that the prev of 7 is still pointing to 4. Okay. Let me put this as prev and this is also prev. Okay. These are prev pointers. We'll just put P and N to understand things better. Current next equal to prev. So the next of current which is 4 becomes null. Okay. This is how it is. And we have rest of the list as it is we have the next of 7 pointing to 9 the prev of 9 is still pointing to 7 okay this is prev and this is next and then we have 10 okay this is how my list looks now 
Now what we do, we update our current equal to current prep. So now 7 becomes my current. So this is my current. Now what happens? Prep equal to current prep. So now my prep becomes 4. Okay. And then we have current prep equal to current next. Okay. So the prep of 7 becomes current next, which is 9. Okay. So now how things goes is, so now we have 7. The prep of 7 is now pointing to 9. Prep of 4 is 7. The next of 4 is null. Okay. The next of 7 is now going to change. Let's see what it will be. The next of 7 now becomes prep. So current next equal to prep which is 4. So the next of 7 is 4. This is how it is. And current is equal to current prep. So now 9 becomes my current. Okay. This is my current. Just after these particular operations, how my list looks, this is how it looks. The next of 9 still points to 10. Let's say I keep it here. The next of 9 still points to 10 and the prev of 9 still points to 7. Okay. And also this is my current. And 10 prev points to 9 and 10 next points to null. This is the latest status of my uh, linked list. Okay. Now again, what we do is prev is equal to current's prev. Okay. So what is current's prev? Current is 9. Its prev is 7. So my prev becomes 7. Okay. After this, what we do is current prev equal to current next. So the next of 9 is 10. So what we will do is now my look something like this. The prev of 9 is 10. Okay. Current next equal to prev and the next of 9 is 7. Okay. And this was already the link over there. 4. 4 next was null. And then we have 10. Okay. Now the 10 prev is still pointing to 9. Okay. And the 10 next is still pointing to null. Okay. This is how my thing looks. I update my current. Current equal to current prev. So now 10 becomes my current again we store prev prev is 9 current prev equal to current next so now what happens is that current prev which is 9 is now current next so now we have current prev is equal to current next so the next of current is null so now our list looks something like this null we have 10 okay we have current next equal to prev now the next of 10 is 9 and we already had this particular thing. So as you can see that our list has been updated. Okay. And now our current becomes current prev. So now my current becomes current prev which is null. Okay. So this is how as you can see my list is changed. But there is a problem. So as we all know that there is always a head which points to the first node of the list. So initially my head must be pointing to 4 and it is still pointing to 4. But we have to take it and point to 10. How are we going to do that? So we have to update our head. So basically we want our head to point to 10. So if we see how we can access 10. So our prev is pointing to 9. Right now our prev is pointing to 9. Current has already become null. So I can't use that. Our prev is pointing to 9. And 10 is the prev of 9. So what we can do is we can simply do head is equal to prev. Prev. So basically we should have kept it previous. That would have been more uh, easy for us to understand. So it will be like previous prev. Okay. So this is how it is going to be. Make sure you have necessary null checks. So let's say in this case if we already have our previous as null. In that case, if I do previous prep, that will give you runtime error. So simply check that if previous not equal to null. So this is how we are going to reverse a doubly linked list. Now let's just go ahead and write the code for it. Okay, we have seen till now how are we going to reverse the doubly linked list. Now let's just write, go ahead and write a proper code so that we can just run it and see that whatever we have done is right or wrong. We did a kind of dry run. 
So I have already written the code for inserting the nodes in the Dublin linked list and we just what we just have to do is after we write the code for reverse, we just have to give the number of nodes and put the data and we will get our list ready. So we don't have to bother about how the list is getting created. We have already seen that in previous videos. We'll just bother about the reverse thing. So let's say I'm given the head of the list. I just have to reverse it. So let's just go ahead and write the code that we have seen. So as you know, in doubly linked list, we have a node, we have data next and prev in that particular node. Okay. Now let's just go ahead and write the code. We will have temp, which will initially point to null. And then we will have current. We initialize current with the head. So we have passed the address of head over here, which means whatever changes is made in the head will reflect in the main function as well. Okay. Now we will run a loop till we get our current equal to null. So we start with storing prev in temp pointer. Then we change the prev of current to point to next of current. And then we change the next of current to point to prev, which is stored in temp. Okay. Now we update our current to point to the next pointer, which is right now stored in prev. Current is equal to current prev. Okay. And after the loop is over, we have to check that if temp is not equal to null. So this is generally the case when we have, let's say only one pointer, when we have only one node or let's say there is no node as well. In this case, we will simply do, if it is not equal to null, head is equal to temp prev. What happens in this case is if you don't put this null check and you try to access prev of someone that is null, that will give you a runtime error. Okay, so whenever you are writing code and especially linked list code or uh, things like that. If you see that you're getting a null pointer exception or anything, any sort of runtime error or anything like that. So make sure you check that is there a place where maybe, you know, a node can be null and you're trying to access either the data or next or prev of that null pointer. Okay. So let's just go ahead and run this code. So we'll give the number of nodes. Let's make it one, two, three, four, five. So as you can see, the original list is one, two, three, four, five, and the reverse list is five, four, three, two, one. So the code works pretty much fine. Make sure you're trying this on your own as well. Okay, all the best.